time for CBS 19 Sports from the Monsoor Law Firm Sports Desk. Hey, good evening, everyone. I'm Ashley Moore. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. Well, we began last night basically dissecting the 2023 recruiting class here in Beach, Texas. But recruiting has evolved so much that it's beginning as early as freshman year. So tonight, I decided we dig deeper and take a look at the 2024 recruiting class, guys who haven't even entered their junior seasons yet, but with big time Power Five offers. And of course, again, we've enlisted the help of East Texas native and recruitment expert, Justin Wells. It used to be if you offered a kid in his junior year, you could jump into the recruitment. Well, it's so so fast now. You have to get to know these kids as freshmen and sophomores just to set the foundation for relationships now. Running back Taylor Tatum just picked up an Oklahoma offer. He was up there uh, camping a couple of days ago. Uh, he should be in Texas, uh, visiting Texas in late June. Uh, he's got a couple other visits coming up as well. He has a dozen offers, Oregon, Washington, uh, Oklahoma State. Willie Nelson, one of my favorite under the radar DBs from Longview High School as well. This cat might be 5'9", 160 pounds. He plays Play 6'3", 240. Uh, he led the uh, led the region in interceptions as a sophomore for Longview last year. He picked up Oklahoma a couple weekends ago, a couple weeks ago, Oklahoma State a few uh, another week ago. You know, Texas A and M and Texas are probably the biggest schools right now in East Texas from a from an exposure standpoint. Those are those are guys that um, most of these kids. If you talk to them, those are the coaches they they're, they're, they're talking to. Uh, you know, give Chris Gilbert a ton of credit. He's the, the director of uh, high school relations at the University of Texas. He has gone in and built a ton of relationships with these younger guys. Derek McFall, one of my favorite recruits, class of 2024. He's out of Tyler High. It is rare when Texas, a big big school, is your first offer. Generally, you get smaller offers and then it kind of snowballs and it builds up to the bigger schools. Derek's first offer was Texas. And so just by going in and building that relationship early, Texas is able to, to get in and, and have a chance with these relationships. Jacoby Williams out of Beckville, that's another one, won the, 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 the 110 Hurdles uh, state championship for Beckville this uh, a couple weekends ago at the state track meet. He's another one. And so I think where Texas is, these, you've got these younger coaches that have come on the staff. Brennan Marion, Tashar Choice. Uh, you know, Marion's really close with Jalen Hale. Tashar Choice is getting closer with Taylor Tatum and Jacoby Williams and, and a Derek McFall. A Jalen Bordley out at, at Pleasant Grove. You know, and so I think Texas, what they've started to do with Steve Sarkeesian is just get to know these kids at a younger age. These are kids that just don't run from adversity. These are kids that actually, they're used to it. They play with chips on their shoulder. They play like dogs. And when I, when I ask college coaches, what are you looking for? Dogs.